know, I've always wanted to like have like a cool intro, like all those like white news anchors have, like you know. But like, I'm I'm black, you know, so I gotta be swaggy with it, you know. So like, like I gotta be like the black Zulu Michael Jackson. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Ah, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mr. Fallback. I am the presenter of GNC News, and today our top story. Apparently, the South African academic rate has been declining at a very concerning rate. I'm not gonna lie to you, I almost failed grade eight, but I didn't almost fail because I was stupid. I'm not gonna lie to you. Trapa fan falekom almost trapped me, that's the issue. Have you ever walked out of an exam and everyone is deciding if the answer is 47 or 48 and you wrote Nelson Mandela? That's how deep the situation is. And that's the thing, I don't even blame the kids. Bro, I almost failed a couple of times myself, that's the thing. No, 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 I'm saying I literally cannot count. After like 24, everything just sounds the same if I'm being honest with you. And now we're going to transition to Kanye, who is going to actually test how smart is the South African youth. To you, Kanye. Right, I'm in the Hatfield streets with... Elias. Doga. Dogozo. Your boy Nero, boy Nika, you did? G. Peterson. I've got one question for you. Yes, what is that question? On this diagram, can you locate the clitoris? Where is the clitoris? I've got one question. One question it is. Where is the clitoris? Let me tell you where the clitoris is, man. So that's where you put your fingers in and you yeah, yeah, yeah. up. This thing, bro. There's some easy geography, my brother. You got this. Yo. Um, I don't know. Like, think about it. I can't believe I'm doing this. Dig deep. Nah, I'm Boba, Joe. I feel like I'm that's Boba. Boba. <laughs> right there, bro. Yeah, I think it's the one in the mid. The middle. Yeah. You know that is, you want to put it in different gears the whole time. Sometimes you want to DJ set to it sometimes. Right in there, put your, put your, put your finger all the way up here damn. and do a come here session. Okay, that's it, Johnny Sins. God damn. No. <laughs> oh, man. God oh, damn. Man. damn. Huh. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Wow, shout outs to the South African educational system. You are doing something for once. Our next story, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> is, this, is this a real story? It's like a legit story. A transgender has gotten two ladies pregnant in prison. <laughs> On the, files, on the files, it does say female. I'm not gonna lie to you. So you can just walk in. Huh, interesting. A, A. I'm not gonna lie to you. That sounds like a very tricky situation. Imagine being in a line, right? You're all lining up, right? And you just look down and you see this motherfucker scratching his goddamn balls like, damn bitch, or nigga, I don't know at this point. So basically, moral of the story, don't do dumb shit so you can avoid going to jail. Whew. And our next story, the whites are whining again. Yeah, let's have a look. I'm not gonna lie to you, when you said the whites are whining, I did not expect this shit. Dude, this is black culture. We do this on an everyday basis. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm gonna need everyone to comment down in the comment section. Why do white people interest you? I'm gonna need like one, two points. Like that's the thing, if a white person does everyday black shit, the world goes crazy. That's like, it's like watching a monkey in a zoo, bro. That's the crazy part. That's the thing, the world treats white people like performance monkeys in a zoo. You just go crazy for everyday with black people shit. Like that's the thing, these white girls whose biggest problem in life is probably how many calories she had in a milkshake today is going viral for doing black people shit. Dude, you know what's the thing, man? If this was 2015, they'd probably be on Ellen DeGeneres for this bullshit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. here's another thing. If black people do white people shit, then it's a different story. Like, okay, fine, fine, fine. It's all fun and games. You can rap to little baby, ball for ball. But can I walk into the mall barefoot? No. I gotta be walking in with like some Nikes, you know what I'm saying, or some hot pepper lemon steppers. Come on, take care of yourself, girl. I'm not gonna lie to you, this, this, this convo kinda got me hard. We can just go to an ad break right now, yeah. Hey, do you want penis enlargement pills? Call my number. Neo, you know what I think about every day now? Dude, you know how many black people can't swim? You know what is the confusing part about it, right? Every single person was a piece of sperm. You had to swim the first fucking moment you were busted out of a nut. What do you mean you're black and you can't swim? Dude, how many black people can't swim actually? Let me Google this. Do you think there's a stat for this? 30% of the population in Africa swims. 70% of African children said that they had no ability to swim. 70%. 70%. That's crazy. Anyways. 
<sighs> Let's do this, I guess. Welcome back from our ad break. Our next story, Elon Musk. Elon, I'm talking about easy. E to the man, Nizzle. The same motherfucker who used to walk on Burnett Street has bought Twitter, bro. Now look, I'm not gonna lie to you. The only reason I actually have this news channel job is because I gotta keep my shit on the down low, bro. Yo, bro, I'm not gonna lie to you. After the, like, the show, can I get like 15 rand for a taxi? I need to go home, so. And that's the thing. If the world actually knew how rich I was, I'd have to be dealing with that and being the world's sexiest man. And on top of that, being the world's smartest man. But that's the thing. I don't even have that kind of time, right? So if I had 44 billion, I'm not even gonna buy Twitter. You get what I'm saying? Like, dude, Twitter's a bit of a stupid purchase. Listen, you know what I'd do if I had 44 billion rand? I'd like buy a bunch of cameras and just give them to like nyaupes and like let them vlog. Imagine watching a nyaupe vlog, bro. Like you just wait, you're watching this vlog, he's under a bridge and boom, him and his boys are injecting each other. They fucking vaccinating each other, bro. That's the thing. I want to empower the youth. I want everyone to be educated on, you know, that lifestyle. And ladies and gentlemen, that is all we have for you today. We're going to cut to the sports. Hey, hey. We know you're busy right now being chased down and whatever, but we have to ask about the Thug League, sir. Uh, what number TV are you on for tonight? Buddy, this is my first HP, you know what I'm saying? This is for the adults in the trenches, you know what I'm saying? This is my, my first HP in like this first minute, you know, this is my 11th one in the first hour. You get what I'm saying? Basic medicine, you get what I'm saying? Mm. Okay, so in, the, in this Thug League right now, you're currently the top thug of this year. So the person who's currently trailing behind you is Spito from Mami Lodi. He's currently averaging- Listen, 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 listen. Is this interview a joke? No, 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 we just want to know- Don't interview. tell me about Pizzo. Pizzo, little Pizzo. Pizzo from Mami Lodi. Don't tell me about Pizzo from Mami Lodi, bro. Please, do you see this tattoo? It says mom, right? Yes. This tattoo, I stole this tattoo. These, this teeth, I stole these teeth. No, I-, I it's my grandmother's teeth, we both share it on insurance. But listen, his teeth is mine, golden. TV, 11th hour. You get what I'm saying? So what, we're, me in my what we're hearing from you is that you're going to be keeping this lead yeah, against yeah, yeah, yeah. pizza. Okay, okay. Yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. Oh, who's currently chasing you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know, either SWAT, Red Ants, Fire Ants, or EFF. I don't know which one. <laughs> beyond me, beyond me. Beyond okay, me. okay. Thank you for this Pasta. interview. Thank you for this. It's called... I don't get paid enough to do this shit. Ay. Let me do that. Let me turn. Do that. Let me do that. Turn again. <clears throat> and thank you everybody for tuning in to GNC News today. Listen, I am Mr. Fallback and consider yourself informed. Every Sunday on Fallback Entertainment. Yeah! I wish I didn't do that. That was such a perfect outro. <laughs> Peace.